Hi Gemini! Welcome to your reading Gemini. In this reading we'll be focusing on your person. We will take a look at your connection. We will also check your person's actions, their feelings, their intentions towards you. We will take a look also at your person's overall energy. We will pull uh, some oracle cards for you for your person and your connection and some messages of love as well. Okay, so let's take a look Gemini with whom we are connecting today for Gemini, please. Gemini. Gemini. Could you please show me Gemini's person? Person on Gemini's mind. Could you please show me Gemini's person? Could you please show me Gemini's person? Gemini's person. We have justice. Gemini's person, please. Ten of Swords, mm -hmm. Gemini, Gemini person, Gemini's person, please. Okay, we have Three of Swords. We have an Eight of Cups. We have a Page of Cups. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Tower. Oh, Gemini. Someone did you wrong here, Gemini. And I'm very sorry what you've been through because I can see this is a very incredibly challenging energy. What it's showing here. Gemini, you might be dealing with Scorpio. I have also uh, Libra energy as well. Very strongly come forward. Gemini as well so another gemini um aquarius for some of you as well pisces is coming forward as well gemini someone someone did you wrong someone broke your heart and i am very very sorry when i when i see this 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 energy because i can see how challenging it is I can tell you one thing, that this person is getting their justice because we are opening their energy with the justice card and then we have the ten of swords and the three of swords. This person, there was an ending, there was a painful ending and I feel that this person essentially broke your heart. It is an energy of being, I feel that you might have felt that you've been stabbed in the back, completely betrayed by this person and energy of someone you know, mm -mm. Inf no inflating. Um, someone just oh, let's forget about it. What I wanted to say, Gemini. I'm sorry. Someone just essentially caused you heartbreak and pain and disappointment with this three of swords, eight of cups. I feel this person disconnected. They walked away and now they are having a tower moment, Gemini. Karma, karma, Gemini, strong karma. Therefore, they want to come back. This person wants to communicate. They want to express some sort of emotion. Page, pages are potentials. So I feel that this person wants to just check out how you're doing, how you're feeling. And they might even, you know, thinking about sending you something like, hello, how do you do or how are you doing? What are you up to? What you're up to? Do, do, would you like to talk or would you like to meet up? Okay. But what I'm getting here, Gemini, that this person did you really wrong. And they are now experiencing karma with the tower and justice. If they are Gemini in another situation, for instance, if there was a case that this person left you for someone else. I can tell you one thing. It's, it, it, things are not good between the two of them. And I feel this person... Uh, it might be an ending of their relationship with another person. This person, it's a mess. And I feel they cause you incredible amount of emotional sadness and pain 
this is betrayal, this is a heartbreak, this is separation, this is pain, this is sadness, and I'm really sorry, Gemini, I really am, because this is just, this is very challenging energy that this person brought to your connection and to your life. I feel that at the end they walked away, they thought that they have, that they, that they, that their happiness is somewhere else. They thought maybe that the grass is greener on the other side. They were wrong. That's what it's getting. This person is, is receiving essentially their karma, Gemini. And now they are trying to kind of figure out how to approach you. This is very difficult energy. They are in Gemini. And they cost very difficult energy to your connection as well. Therefore, they're receiving their karma. I, it wouldn't surprise me if this person, Gemini, will come forward and say, well, things didn't work out. You know, I'm not with this person anymore. What a disappointment and something of this kind, you know. I'm getting this person is it's re receiving their karma in the form of tower moment. This is this is shocking. This is this is chaotic. This is just wow. This is just complete disaster when it comes to I feel uh, some sort of emotional situation in this person's life but they caused this <sighs> knight of wands they want to communicate Gemini let's take a look at your connection with this person I do apologize that I couldn't express myself about this free of swords There was a saying I wanted to say about this free of so that someone is in, in inflected the pain into someone else's heart. Something that's how that felt to, to me, this card, that, that you just it was so painful. It was so painful, Gemini. And I'm very, very, very sorry if you've been through this. Let's take a look, Gemini, at your connection with this person. Could you please show me Gemini's connection with this person? We have a Five of Swords. Could you please show me Gemini's connection with this person, please? Gemini's connection with this person, please. Six of Swords. And we have Seven of Swords gosh okay at the bottom of the deck we have a four of wands gemini you might be dealing with the tin fl twin flame maybe it is indeed a twin flame connection with the four of wands but uh, it's challenging it's challenging it's very difficult five of swords in your energy with with regards to this connection you felt played I feel that you felt played by this person. This person lied to you and you felt defeated. It wouldn't surprise me that it's someone else uh, also, you know, involved in the situation because we have two people at the background. I feel that you felt that this person played mind games. They were not fully sh fair with you and ultimately they played you. They lied to you. We have a six of, look, we have a five of swords, six of swords, seven of swords, look. Story, it's evolving. It might be very strong twin flame connection. And something here is uh, very, yeah, this person receiving karma. This is very, very strong reading, very strong reading coming forward here Gemini for you and this person mutual energy six of swords there is a distance between the two of you I feel it might be even physical distance maybe this person moved I feel this person walked away but I at the moment I feel that it is indeed um, distance between the two of you physical emotional maybe even no communication this person seven of swords they lied, they tricked you. You see, this is what I'm getting, when I look at this card, this is Seven of Swords, how kind of, he thinks that he is uh, smarter than anyone. And it seems that, you know, the way he's holding those swords, it's very careless. 
because any time they can hurt him. And I feel that's what's going to happen or happened in this person's life. This person thought that grass is greener on the other side. You felt that they played you, you know, that you, you felt, you know, you might be feeling that you've been played by this person. This person, I feel, betrayed you on a serious level, emotionally. They played mind games. They thought that they, are, that they were, or that they've been very clever. The thing is that they're not. With the Seven of Swords, I feel this person uh, was, was sneaky. They were hiding something. They lied to you. They were unfair. And as much as they are smiling here, we saw this person's energy with the tower at the bottom of the deck. This trick that they were carrying for all this time backfired at them with the Seven of Swords. This person is receiving their karma, Gemini. Things are not that beautiful as, as this person might be showing to the outside world. Or they are, I feel, Gemini, this person is, is it's, it's, it's getting it. It's getting their karma. I know I am keep on saying it, but it's very strongly. And I feel that it, it has to be emphasized because what they did was not fair. And I don't like it. I'm quite getting emotional, actually, when I see cards like this. I'm sorry. With the four of wands... It's 11-11 card, so you might feel that it is a twin flame connection and it's very challenging. With the four of wands also as an overall energy, it, sh it, it seems that there is a very big strong soul connection between the two of you. But this is someone who just... <sighs> oh gosh, I don't even have the words for this. Let's... Uh... Okay, could you please show me this person's energy? Could you please show me Gemini's person's energy? Could you please show me this person's energy? Please, for Gemini. This person's energy, please. Could you please show me this person's energy that Gemini is dealing with or has been dealing with? Okay. We have Rana. We have I like you. And we have Healing Heart. We have a mask as well. Mm -hmm. Could you please show me Gemini's energy, please? Gemini's energy. Gemini's energy. We have two. Separation. And girl talk. And we have healthy choices. Okay. Gemini. Your, let's let's start from your person. This person created chaser runner dynamic in your connection. I feel that they were a runner, and at some point you might felt that you are chasing this person. You are trying to gain their attention. You are trying to reach to this person, or you tried to reach to this person. You tried to kind of work on the situation, and at the end you were the only one who was putting effort in it. This person put you in codependent dynamics within your relationship when they were i feel a runner big ego again thinking the grass is green on the other side hugely disappointed they are claiming here that they like you they want to date you they want to meet up with you this is what i was getting with the page of cups this person i feel will will, will make attempt to talk to you to ask you out to go on a date or to just you know meet up and talk about the situation and they will some sort of express uh, you know that they always liked you that you've always been very important to them something of this kind healing heart <laughs> i feel again that this person is after some sort of connection something didn't work out in this person's lives when it comes to a relationship or something with something to do with their emotions okay or emotional life love life and the thing is that they treated you not nicely, okay? Very, very, uh, I'm saying it in a very nice way. Um, this person was unfair. They broke your heart, essentially. 
And remember when I was saying, and keep on repeating it, I'm sorry, Jimin, I did, I keep on repeating it, that this person is receiving their karma, this is exactly what they experience. And now they are trying to heal their heart because someone else treated them the way they treated you and they got their karma. Now they are in this energy. On your side, Gemini, we have separation, sadness, missing you, thinking about you, unsure of future. I feel that you do miss this person. You feel the separation. Something obviously didn't work out. And I feel you still, you know, you are saddened because I feel, Gemini, that you, that you felt that you are aware of the twin flame connection and soul connections, you know, soulmate. And I feel that you felt that this is your person and you share this connection with this person. Spirit is saying here with the Four of Wands as an overall energy for this connection that you might be right. That indeed it might be a twin flame connection which is very, very challenging and very difficult. And this person has to do some feeling. Therefore, karma and spirit is now forcing them to understand that what they did to you, now they are experiencing. This person is experiencing this. They are a mess. And it's a lesson that they should not treat people, especially you, that way. That they have to change. That they can't continue that way. And this is a major lesson this person and universe is trying to teach. This person is learning this lesson the hard way. Because the way they treated you. You know, with the girl talk, I feel, Gemini, that you are very nostalgic about this person with the separation card. I feel that you still feel, you know, that you've been played. But there is this energy with you, Gemini, surrounding you that um, friends might be quite important during this time. That there is some sort of support system that you might have with in your friends or your close related environment. Spirit is saying here that you are not alone. And if you are single at the moment, there is, you know, it's saying here, Spirit is trying to tell you to um, focus on what makes you happy. Focus on yourself. It's time to, uh, to, to kind of welcome this new energy, this, 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 this happy energy, because I feel that you've been for a long time in this sad and kind of energy that really made you feel down. Because look what we have, we have healthy choices. Uh, making healthy choices in love and life, self-love, self-care, being happier. And then with the girl talk card, we have time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment, having fun. Spirit is, spirit is saying here that it's important for you to focus in, to focus and living in the moment, to having fun, to, to just welcome this happier energy. And it's okay to be happy. It's okay to feel good. And if there is something, for instance, that you like, and it can be something as simple as, you know, watching again your favorite TV show or going to the cinema or going for a walk or just, you know, focusing on your hobby or having a, you know, favorite book in front of you. Something, it, 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 therefore, it, would, it might have been very beneficial for you because spirit is encouraging, encouraging you to, to welcome this happy energy back to your life because I've been I feel that with these cards you've been for some time quite unhappy because of this person and how they treated you and treated this connection and spirit is saying here I strongly hear it's okay to be happy and you will be happy you will be happy because I feel you are making healthy choices in love and in, in life. You, there is this energy of self-care, of self-love. And even if you're happy, sorry, even if you're single, even if you're single, I thought that, you know, at some point, Spirit is saying, you know, you happiness is coming. It's coming. It's okay. And for some of you, Gemini, I feel that you are focused on you, that, you know, you are trying to move on from this, trying to move on. 
and if it means that you'll be single I feel that for some of you it's absolutely fine it's okay because it's coming forward very strongly for you Gemini that it's time for you to just focus on yourself and 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 just just be happy or try to be happy do things that makes you happy because by doing this you're attracting positivity abundance and prosperity you'll be very happy gemini spirit it's one wanting you to to, to say it is wanting you to know sorry to say, wanting you to know gemini that you'll be very very happy it's very draining this energy uh, and i feel gemini because i feel I, I'm quite struggling, I must admit, because you can see how my words are to kind of might be all over the place, and I'm very, very sorry about that. But I can feel that energy, so I can't imagine how you felt. You are healing, Gemini. You are healing very strongly. Could you please show me some messages of love for Gemini's connection with this person and for Gemini, please? many spirit please Gemini's connection with this person and Gemini we have true love mm -hmm. soulmate oh my gosh Gemini finances at the bottom of the deck so for some of you maybe this person didn't feel enough good enough when it comes to financial situation they've tried to convince themselves that you know they have not much to offer when it comes to finances that won't resonate with all of you gemini it is some you know it might be it might resonate for some of you but not for all of you i, I completely uh, understand this but it says finances finance financial challenges are affecting this connection so for some of you indeed maybe this person you know felt that they can't bring some sort of stability or they can't provide a certain amount of stability when it comes to this connection or maybe it has been just an excuse or what I'm getting also here Gemini that this person might just moved into a situation that might that they might thought that they would be better well off you know what I mean so that for instance maybe they they move into the situation when they thought that another person is just a financially stable and they thought oh okay well I'll be better that you know that kind of energy is coming forward as well well they are hugely disappointed I can tell you that we have true love and soulmate and we have this four of wands Gemini you might be dealing here with the karmic soulmate or with a with a very very difficult twin flame however i feel that uh, you felt you feel love you have love for this person and i feel that at some point you felt that it is a true love that this person loves you and you love them and it's just this in insane wonderful you know connection because spirit is pointing out here that you do share a very strong soul connection with this person but this person has to learn their lesson for some of you gemini because that you are det detaching from this person you are moving on you are making healthy choices you are trying to have you know spend time with your friends or you you trying to live in the moment you are attracting your true soulmate so for some of you gemini you might have decided that you don't want to be with your twin flame you want to be with your soulmate and by doing this you're attracting a true love and soulmate a new energy into your life because we have you know we have a free will we don't need to be with our twin flame at all you you might decided that your twin flame became karmic and you don't want to deal with it and by doing this and choosing yourself and your happiness you're attracting a soulmate yeah very strong is coming forward that sort of uh scenario here for some of you gemini's but overall i feel that you share a very strong love 
and soul connection with this person. For some of you, this person is realizing that you are their true love. They are, they are. Universe and spirit is teaching them a very, very strong lesson in a qu quite uh, strong way. Let's say it that way. What this person would like to confess to you, Gemini? Let's take a look. Could you please show me what this person would like to confess to Gemini? I will explain myself to you. Mm -hmm. One more, please, for Gemini's person. What this person? What this person would like to confess to Gemini? I miss you. <laughs> of course you do. At the bottom of the deck, I don't know what to do because they messed things up. That's why they don't know what to do. Well, they have to come forward. You have to come forward in the right way and apologize to Gemini. They know that they messed up big time here, Gemini. This person knows. They miss you. And, and they're claiming here that they will explain themselves to you. This person will communicate, Gemini. They will. Could you please show me Gemini's person's feelings towards Gemini? This person's feelings for Gemini. Could you please show me this person's feelings for Gemini, please? Towards Gemini. Okay. We have Ten of Wands. We have Two of Pentacles. And we have Ace of Swords. At the bottom of the deck we have a Five of Pentacles. This person is missing you indeed, as they claimed here. I miss you. Five of Pentacles is this energy of longing. This person is left out in the cold. They feel, and I have to say it like a loser. They feel foolish. They recognizing, I feel that, you know, they made a mistake with the Five of Pentacles. This is someone who's left out in the cold. It's, they have no emotional support. Even maybe their finances are not quite good as they thought that they might be if they move into another situation that's for some of you it won't resonate with all of you gemini but for some of you it might be a case indeed this person is just is just they they they, they look this is someone who is just feels who feels calmer indeed they miss you they miss the support they had. They miss this love that you were providing. This, this care. This beautiful nurturing energy. And now they are by their own. Or they feel incredibly unhappy in another situation. But for some of you, I feel this person will say that it didn't work out. Ten of Wands in their emotions. To the Two of Pentacles and Ace of Swords. This person needs to... They feel the need that they need to express themselves. Ace of Swords is communication. It's messages. It's, it's, they want to tell their truth. It's coming forward very strongly here with the Ace of Swords. Ten of Wands. They are exhausted. They are exhausted. They, their feelings are overwhelming. And the thing is, I feel very strongly that they juggled you. This is an energy of juggling two situations. Things didn't work out there. Things didn't work out here. This person now feels like a fool because they thought again that the grass is greener on the other side. Well, it wasn't, was it? Because we see their energy. They're having a tower moment. They're receiving their karma. And this person is overwhelmed. They, they are exhausted. They are tired. Uh, they want to drop this this burden. The emotions are very overwhelming, this person. Very overwhelming. Because I feel, Gemini, that this person has a guilty conscience. And as much as some of you, you might feel, no, they are complete, you know, egoistic individual or, you know, self-centered person. I feel deeply inside. It's very heavily waiting on their shoulder because... Again, universe is teaching this person a lesson. And one of the components of this lesson is that it's kind of, um, 
I feel that spirit is just make them feel and remind them that they juggled you. It was completely unfair. And now the conscious is heavily waiting on the conscious. They have a guilty conscious. And they feel that, you know, it, this, 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 these emotions are overwhelming. And they feel that they need to express themselves. Let's take a look at the intentions. Could you please show me Gemini's person's intentions towards Gemini? Six of Pentacles. This person's intentions towards Gemini, please. King of Swords. Gemini's person's intentions towards Gemini, please. Of course, we have Ten of Pentacles. At the bottom of the deck, we have a Knight of Cups. Gemini, this person wants to come forward. They want to meet up. I feel this person would like to uh, ask you out. They want to reconcile with you. Knight of Cups, he's coming with a cup of emotion, love, and they are just, you know, this person will, will show or some sort of communicate with you that they want to reconcile. They made a mistake. They want to communicate. Again, King of Swords. I feel that they might say that they they detached from the previous situation. Six of Pentacles. Don't let this person to breadcrumb you, Gemini, if they come forward, okay? Uh, what I mean, what I mean by this is, if you sh if you see that this person is getting too comfortable and too confident in the situation, just that you know, just just I don't know, maybe gently remind them, you know that. Because I feel this very important here, Gemini, is to have a healthy boundaries with this person, because I feel that they might that they are trying that they might try their luck you know they might see uh, how you see the situation if you just welcome them with an open arms and say yes i've been waiting so long for you and all of it oh i'm so it's some, something of this kind you know it's just an, an example this person will try to try to figure out where they stand with you if they can push their luck again and try to maybe you know start breadcrumbing you if that's the case king of swords no bs and i feel that you can even communicate to this person listen you've hurt me you put me in a, such a emotional upheaval i was treated unfairly what i was is just a loving nurturing caring person towards you supporting you and you did it to me that's what you did to me and what you're expecting from me that what that i will open my arms no you have to prove yourself that you've changed and i feel gemini that at the moment you are making healthy choices and if this person wants to come forward and they will you are ready to say no bs if you're coming with the same energy with the same bs i am not interested i'm not the thing is, Gemini, that this person will, um, I feel, you will experience. This is what they're planning. They're planning to come forward to express their emotions. They, I feel they will try to be, they're planning to be very generous with their words, with their time, with their affection towards you. With the King of Swords, they want to communicate something. They want to say how it is, the truth. And the Ten of Pentacles, they want to communicate that they want to have a long-term commitment with you. This is a card of a being with each other, sometimes even marriage, but overall stability, that they want to have stability. And this is what this person is planning, Gemini. Let's take a look at their actions, what they will do. Could you please show me Gemini's person's actions towards Gemini? We have a um, Ace of Pentacles, okay. We have two Aces already new beginning another chance what this person will do could you please show me gemini's person's actions towards them please we have a knight of swords this person wants to talk actions actions towards gemini 
to please show me this person's actions towards Gemini, please. And we have a King of Wands. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Tower. Gemini, you might be dealing with Scorpio. Very strong Scorpio energy is coming forward. And I also have Gemini, quite strong fire. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Gemini, this person will show up unexpectedly. It will be like a lightning from the sky tower, something that you don't expect. I feel that they might message you out of the blue, text you, call you, and it will be very surprising with the tower. Okay, very surprising for you. With the Ace of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, King of Wands, in their actions, they don't want to miss an on, on opportunity with you. This person wants to some sort of bring or give you a new beginning. Uh, with the Knight of Swords, they, they are rushing in. They, they, they are. I feel this person feels an urge to act. They want to act. But with the King of Wands, this is a passionate energy. They feel very passionate about you. But King of Wands can be also inconsistent. You are dealing here with someone who might be very, very good looking who has a natural charisma, who, um, you know, people are paying attention to this person. This is someone who might have some sort of kind of magnetism about them. You might find them very attractive. And in the King of Wands energy, this person is quite attractive, I feel, for, for many people. They, they don't have problem of getting attention. But um, there is some something about the king of wands that they might be also um again sometimes inconsistent and it's very important to make you know to, 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 to i feel it's important to to set a healthy boundaries with this person because they're coming they're coming they are coming with the knight of swords and with the tower and it will be something unexpected like something out of the blue like a lightning from the sky you will just receive a message or you will receive a call text and it will be quite shocking i feel for you surprising and this person will probably say could can we meet up um can we talk with the ace of pentacles because they want to have a new beginning with you gemini let's take a look let's take a look gemini overall outcome for this connection for the coming future we have a five of wands at the bottom of the deck we have four of cups okay so overall outcome for the near future for this connection is arguments conflict i feel gemini that you will express yourself when it comes to this person and the way they they treated you. I feel that you will make yourself very clear because I, I strongly feel that you are irritated, you are hurt. And for some of you, you are angry. You are still angry and you are hurt, Gemini, for what they did and how they, you know, treated this connection. And Five of Wands, I feel that at some point you will have this conversation with this person but there is something gemini that you disagreeing with you are not feel comfortable about and i feel that it might be a case that you are not on the same page with this person because we're dealing here with someone who might have a big ego and who might be you know as much as that the conscious is playing very heavily here in this person's energy they have a guilty conscious they might have this very strong exterior and they might present themselves that they are in denial, you know, or they might try to justify the situation, why it happened. And I feel that it might irritate you at the end because five of wands is this energy of being irritated. It, it would, you know, maybe you got this kind of impression when you were with this person that it would be like talking to the wall and it's just it, nothing went through. You were trying to work on the situation. You're trying to do your best, but th this person was just very unhealed individual. And we have a four of cups as an overall energy for this reading. I feel that you tried so hard to bring happiness 
fulfillment this person to make them feel very comfortable you tried you tried and you tried but this person was always not fully satisfied there was something was always for this person not good enough and at the end they 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 they, they left you emotionally depleted with the four of cups this is an energy this so this person was just just always never fully satisfied never fully satisfied and grumpy or had emotion you know mood swings it's this this person took you for granted gemini and spirit is emphasizing here if this person hasn't learned a lesson because the karma is playing very very strongly here in this person's energy just think about how they were in this connection towards you because you don't want to be once again in this four of cups energy i'm not suggesting that there is that there is no love because there is love between the two of you and you might be dealing with with karmic soulmate or with a twin flame very challenging unhealed twin but at the end of the day spirit is saying you have to be happy your happiness is the most important this person had many chances to come forward in the right way they might have another one you might give them another chance but they have to come forward in a right way and we have five of wands there will be something gemini that you feel at some point irritated during this conversation i feel something that you would say hang on a minute no no you're not right no what are you talking about there is a disagreement and i feel with the four of cups it's important to remember how this person made you feel and that you tried you're receiving good karma gemini for some of you you will say no i'm done and you'll be attracting true new love in the form of soulmate but for some of you gemini i strongly feel that yes this person will come forward you will have a conversation and i feel that you know you are willing to give this person another chance and that's fair enough but there is some sort of understanding now they need to come forward in the right way because if they coming forward with the same bs that will at some point irritate you and i feel you have every single reason gemini to be irritated by this person's behavior and the way they treated this connection in you then you will just raise your sword we're represented by the king of swords and you will you will you will just say no more bs no thank you very much if you're going to act like this and you haven't learned anything then we have a problem here because I exactly remember what I've been through with you in this connection and how this connection left me emotionally depleted and dissatisfied and disappointed. Mm -hmm. Nevertheless, Gemini, I feel overall that this person is receiving their karma, that what they cause you, they're going through themselves now. They want to talk, they want to come forward. I feel this person will try to explain themselves and they will person will communicate that they want to uh, build something very stable with you because they seize an opportunity for happiness with you they they miss you and they want to explain themselves but it's important gemini to have a healthy boundaries with this person because again i thought this person would might try again to push their luck okay However, I can tell you, Gemini, that uh, that they will communicate. They want to communicate. And if that's the case, that they thought that the grass is greener on the other side, they are hugely disappointed. I can tell you that. And they are feeling it very, very strongly. Thank you very much for being with me, Gemini. Thank you so very much. Please like, share and subscribe. And I truly hope that this reading was of help. I wish you all the very best. All the very best. And once again, thank you so very much for being with me. I truly appreciate you. 
Thank you very much, Gemini. Take care. Bye.